Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Today's video is dedicated to help realtors and new agents in real estate on a very delicate question. What should you be wearing? What is the dress code? How to dress up to impress your clients? And well, a lot of realtors who are joining this industry, who are doing the research like you are online, trying to figure out what should I wear as a real estate agent, guys. Well, I'm going to be covering all of this in this video. While I'm taking out my kid, my kid is running over there on the playground. I decided to share this help, this helpful video with you guys and explain to you exactly on what you should be wearing and answering this question. Now, we'll talk, of course, guys, there is a certain stereotype for the altars, there is a stigma, and then there is uh, reality, and then there is a practical advice, guys. Let me first uh, tell you about myself. Well, I joined real estate myself, and my first year I did multiple six digits in transactions, and guess how I dress up? Of course, I'm not dressed up as a used car salesperson right now. And I want to tell you guys, the stigma is when you're starting into real estate agent, everyone is expecting you. You know, you go you go to those realtor conferences and literally, you know, everyone is like expensive multi thousand dollar suits and everyone is trying to show off. And then occasionally you find a bunch of realtors who are like, absolutely don't give a damn on how they're dressed and uh, well they don't show off too much and those are the guys who are the ones who do a lot of business and maybe sometimes so the other realtors dress up to impress the new agents uh, you know to show how you should be looking professional well it also depends okay guys uh, let's let's start from stigma everyone expects you to be dressed up professional or casual semi-casual like uh, basically you want to look like your audience so you want to look like your clients if you're working with business professionals lawyers well they are dressed up in a certain manner and you can kind of have to match what they are dressed up as in terms of a uh, real estate profession but here is guys the reality and what i have noticed well it's all about practicality. You see, guys, if you're joining real estate, if you are a realtor, guys, and I also want to, before I tell you all, all of the things and all the advice, I want to give you a quick, quick disclosure here. We started a group for, for realtors and we help thousands of agents increase their business tremendously and go over six digits a year. Guys, uh, comment down below, ask me questions and I'll send you a link and I'll give you more information about it, guys. Uh, here within my brokerage, within AXP Realty, that's where I am right now. Anyways, uh, comment and I'll send you the link and there's also going to be one in the description of this video. Okay, here is the practicality, guys. First of all, if you're joining real estate, um, uh, I don't know what your uh, background in terms of sales. Guys, I did door-to-door -door sales. Uh, my first job in Canada, when I came to Canada, I was selling hot water tanks. And there was a certain dress code. Well, it was a little bit misleading. So I was more dressed up as a technician, you know, with the reflective vest to, to, to match the business that I was doing, right? If you go, where's my kid? Somebody kidnapped my kid? No, hopefully not. So, <laughs> you want to, if you're selling cars, guys, they're all dressed up so professionally. But the reality is, real estate is not a transactional business. Okay, it's not like a car dealership where, you know, a person walks in through the door and you want to do a couple of things. You want to get their name, you want to get their deposit and move them out of the door. So you want them to buy something while they're there. So you want to push a person to buy something with you. And that's what I call a transactional business. I believe from my experience, guys, and I am doing enough business to, to be confident in what I'm saying is it is not a transactional business as and any kind of other like uh, minor small thing sales job if you treat it as a transactional business you're probably not going to be as uh, as successful in real estate as you want to be uh, the reality is you want to be able to connect with your clients simple as building relationships guys if i was walking around as a realtor as a real estate agent dressed up professionally and people come to you and they ask you who you are i raise my card and i'm like 
this is me i'm a realtor with the xp reality guys this is my pictures i haven't updated my pictures yet you know why because i don't even give the cards to people anymore like i'm still fat on these pictures because i'm 88 pounds heavier there and i still have my oversized jacket on me but i'm very, very skinnier now i haven't updated my cards because you know honestly a lot of those business cards are uh, well they end up in garbage more more often than not it's all about building like can you imagine you i'll be walking around like this on the streets people hate realtors they hate our occupation they think that we are salespeople. we are there soliciting their business and we are commission-based um <sighs> parasites in their opinion that just open doors and uh, like a like a real estate mafia that does provide any value but we get paid a lot of money for something that's what a stigma is there so people don't like that and if you dress up like that you encourage that stigma if you're driving an expensive luxury car and you dressed up as a salesperson uh, guys what are, you, what are you doing people don't don't like the name of our occupation at first place so i want to say it's a relationship business you build relationships and you help people find their solution you know there are people who are searching for their first home to buy first time home buyers there are okay finally my kid got missing out there he is <laughs> i'm just worried about it so yeah there are on the playground for example there are parents here sitting around you you can start interacting with those people build relationships guys i'll tell you i had a relationship like that i had a relationship with, with, with a neighbor of mine and that neighbor of mine became my client eventually and i'll tell you how it happened to me i came to that person's home and that the client uh, my neighbor not a client at that time he wanted to find out what the worth of the property is and i went and i did house evaluation and guess uh, the what my neighbor said to me afterwards it was actually kind of disappointing to me i was told that i already have an agent uh, it's a senior guy and i've been using it for years and years and he's been for more than 15 years in real estate so i wouldn't need your services you know guys how it feels it felt like really bad it felt really bad and i was really disappointed i was like well how 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 can i compete with somebody who has been doing real estate for 15 years if i'm so new to real estate and guess what i sold his home in calgary i helped him out later on he still the, the, that person called me out called me and i still help help that person and then helped his friends in, in, in later transactions as well purchase uh, real estate for his friends and they sold his home so guys it all changes we are in a relationship business so what it is is that you want to connect with people you are not there to feed on commission on you know just do a transactional deal like push them the house that they don't like you are there to help people and build the relationships so what i found out from dressing up professionally is this was my problem i was a new agent i was a newbie and i was dressing up professionally and here's the problem okay i i, I look too important and i look too professional and people felt like they're wasting my time they felt like i'm super busy which i am busy but the clients don't have to know that I'm that busy because, you know, they would think that you're too busy, that you're not, you know, you're not available enough for them. And if you look too professional and too unapproachable, how the hell are you going to help them buy or sell properties? Invest into real estate, working with investors and other people. And a lot of times you're going to be surprised when you see some really, really big investors. You know, there's a very, it's not frequent where they are dressed up professionally i've seen investors with their tim horton cups on the floor uh, of their pickup truck that they're driving and well they 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 have a lot of money huge net worth beyond what you believe in they have and they have just a coffee cup like empty coffee cups sitting around the trucks they they shop in valley village and they don't spend money anything except what matters the most for them is real estate and if you are the right agent they would be working with you and they'll be connecting with you so what i'm trying to say guys is um, don't go crazy on your on your dress code uh, you don't have to be super professionally looking um, agent you just have to be, be able to show your value build relationships 
continuously follow up. So first of all, lead generation. Generate enough leads for yourself so you have enough clients. Following up, keeping in touch, going for the housewarming, weddings, other events, networking events. And you have to be dressed up accordingly and also not to scare off people, but yet be, be comfortable and don't look too shabby. I mean, if you look like a homeless person and you look like really ridiculously, like if you look really, really bad and too like seriously unprofessional and like a junkie then, that's also detrimental to your business. So the stigma is you have to dress up professionally. The reality is you don't have to dress up professionally. And why do those huge teams and real estate brokers, they dress up professionally? Well, because they're trying to recruit you as an agent into their brokerage. And that's it. That's it. Forget about real estate agents uh, dress code as a car salesperson dress code. That's exactly why car salespeople a lot of times are sitting in the dealership and they are in transactional business. They don't build any relationships. Whoever walks out uh, through the door, they jump on those people as scavengers. And well, that's why they're, 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 not, uh, they're not making a good living. A lot of times, those guys who are selling cars, you know, uh, they are in that occupation where it's transactional, where it's uh, non-personal, where uh, in, in real estate, yeah, my kid is calling me. Anyways, guys, in real estate, you should be able to, if you're a mom, go to those mom circles. As a networking event, you know where they bring the kids there to play around, build relationships, all those moms. You know, you go to some, uh, if you are good at any kind of sport, to those sporting events, and just be like everybody else. And don't yell you're a realtor. Seriously, the same realtor kind of screwed up. Like people just hate realtors. So if you're a realtor, you're automatically hated. Even if you have made zero money on it, even if you have spent tens of thousands of dollars to get your license, you know, even if you uh, spend so much of money for your business and you get nothing, people still don't like you. They think you're rich. They think you're making a lot of money, even if you don't make any money, and everyone is making money off you. So uh, don't make it yell in your outfits uh, as a realtor. Be able to connect to people. Show them the relationships, the value. It's all about relationships, guys. Seriously, if you treat real estate as a transactional business, I think it's going to be quite difficult to be really successful. It's all about relationships. You're literally an, a service provider to people's needs. Everybody needs a home. Everyone needs to sell a home. They don't have experience selling their homes. Like, they don't have the training that you have as an agent. They don't have experience. Maybe you have done a lot of transactions, guys. I have helped so many transactions that, you know, like, that most realtors in their entire career, they won't be, they are not going to get, most realtors are not going to do so many transactions that I did in the last three years, like I did, for example. And most people would not buy that many houses through their lifetime because they're not investors or realtors. You're doing it for a living. So you have a bigger advantage. And your, your job is basically, same as my job, is to help people if they want to sell a home to be, make the best out of that home so that they can make the most money you are making money for them that's what that matters you are helping them invest their money in the right properties so you are making money for the buyers you get them the best value you get them the best location you get them the best you can get them for their money and because you do that, a lot of times, if you do it right and you're experienced and you're good in it, and I'm sure you'll be there, and if not, guys, I have, we have developed the entire training for you to be successful in real estate. Once again, comment down below. That's my kid, Ajo, here. We are recording a video, and this is going to be, hopefully, if he studies well, Ajo, you'll be a real estate lawyer. If not, you'll be a real estate inspector, or in worst case. Will just be another realtor like myself. Anyways, guys, uh, by the way, in terms of education, I have PMP certification, project management, master's in economics. I have accounting certification and also deal with immigration. Like I had too much of education and then I went into real estate. And honestly, guys, out of all my office jobs, this has been the best job. And I hope if you are new uh, agent and trying to figure out if you like real estate, guys, and you don't know, have a clue about real estate, I say just give it a shot because I had no clue three years ago about real estate. I didn't even know why I'm getting the license and just uh, happened to be the best job ever and the only job that I don't want to quit. See you guys in the next video. Thank you so much and all the best if you're planning to become a real estate agent on your real estate journey. <laughs> Bye for now, guys.